Okay, so right here you see a tomato branch. Down there you see where it was chewed off. These were down inside the tomato plants and I picked them out because I'm trying to figure out why we had dried up dead looking leaves. So you can see right here where something chewed it off. Been taking off the flowers too along here. And the branch right here. Leaves. So something's been chewing at things all over in here. I would have thought maybe it was one of those horned caterpillars, but I've seen none of them on here. Usually they're a little bit later than this. This one had one that was a quarter inch long, the size of a pencil, that they chewed through. It's one of those that's down there on the ground. This one had a nice uh, pepper on it. This one did too. Found it laying down on the ground today. And I just threw it over to, to the uh, chicken so you can't see it. This one's got a tomato that something's already attacked. Try to take a bite out or two. So, I'll go down here real quick. The chicken right now is eating the pepper because I threw it over here. They can't get to it because of the wire cages. But this is what I found in the bottom of that pepper plant. Something would eat half and out of it off. There's another one of the yellow ones, but they picked it up and ran off with it somewhere. Oh, here it is. I didn't get into it and eat it yet. But something had been chewing on it already. Was it you? Was it you? Were you the one that was eating the pepper? I don't think so. So we'll throw this out here for the chickens to get it. But, I'll walk over here to where the peach tree is. Because we have no peaches. And I noticed a bunch of branches that were broken off of it. Kind of like these, but this one was probably from last year. It's all dried up, so it's not this. But I noticed a lot of branches like this that had been broken off right here at the plant. Like they were chewed on. So I was wondering what was chewing on them. And then I realized that something was chewing the branches. I'm getting the fruit off of them. I just came over here to the nectarine tree because it hadn't had any issues, but all of a sudden after the peaches disappeared, the nectarines disappeared. But looky what we got here. This is the Sumatra orange. There's a couple of them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll see how many develop. Seven. There are quite a few of them around in here. And this one's just another orange variety. It's got a couple of them on it. We'll see how big and mature they get. One, two. There was a couple more. Three down here. Four over here. So there's some of them growing in on that. But I came over here and I just found this. Now granted, I broke these off because they were already chewed. But basically, something had come along and where they've got a small stem like this, chewed through it until it fell. And then they got all the fruit off of it. And I tore it off. So I mean, you can see they left the seeds. Or some of them they took with. But these four, they left the seeds sitting here on the branch. So they ate every bit of fruit off of it, but then left the seed. So we got a problem. And what could it be? My first guess was some sort of rodent. And then I saw a little critter as he was crawling up this nectarine tree. So I know what was doing the peaches and the nectarines. A squirrel. So we're gonna have to 
start trapping or something on squirrels. Now this is one of those uh, trees that died back, but it started growing again, and the leaves that are here are above where the graft of the plant is. So this will end up being the tangerine that it says it is. This one over here is one of those that the sprouts that are coming out of it are below the graft, so they're going to be whatever the rootstock is. You see the different shape of the leaves? And the reason why I say it's going to be the rootstock is because that's the same rootstock there as the one over there that I cut those suckers or the uh, tree offshoots off and is this one. So these are all whatever the rootstock is. And you can see they're all shooting more growth out of down here below. So this is all from the rootstock. And this is a spiny creature. So don't know what kind of citrus plant that is. But supposedly it grows good roots. And that's why they graft everything into it above it. So these are the two that I either replace or try grafting into. I've got a couple of them up in the front yard that are the same way. But something's been up here and knocked off this tip. So it's been cut back or pruned. So anyway, just give you a quick update. We got a problem. Rodent or squirrel or something that's in here messing with everything. Left the oranges alone so far. And the figs. So I got figs. And I don't know about the other side of the house where the uh, other things are, but a little disappointing. We're going to have to take care of some of these rodents. Yay! Something else to do on the farm. Hope you all having a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.